David just purchased his new 5-axis machine with many new options not seen on machine tools before, such as Tool Center Point Control Programming, 5-axis simultaneous movement, dynamic work offsets. All of these can be handled by the Gibbscam 5-axis option. The Gibbscam 5-axis option lets you tame your new machine with all of these new technology options. The Tool Center Point Control Programming option allows you to touch the tool off one time on the part and no matter where the part tilts, the tool follows it and knows where it goes. In the 5-axis Gibbscam option, you will see menus that will cover many different types of 5-axis motion. We have general, projection milling, swarf milling, which is cutting with the side of the end mill, cavity tilt curve for working on bottle molds and other die and mold applications, cylinder head machining, electrode machining, turbo machinery and impeller, drilling, and inside of the 5-axis module are many other types of tool paths to help you with everyday tasks on your 5-axis machine. Let's have a look at this one toolpath here about 5-axis drilling. In 5-axis drilling, you simply need to run the hole manager. Once you run the hole manager, the information for each hole is now known by Gibbscam. And as you can see, a green stick has been assigned to each hole. You can right click and edit hole and see what the dimensions of the hole are. You do not need to create coordinate systems for these hole locations, even though you may not know where they are and you would have to trig it out and find out. Gibbscam takes care all of that for you in the five axis drilling option. You simply select the holes that you want to drill using the green sticks, which are what we call hole data. Go to the drilling options tab, select what type of drilling you would like to perform and press do it. And as you can see, this part has been drilled automatically. Let's watch this happen in machine sim. Single out this operation using skip unselected ops. Rewind. Let's slow down the throttle a little bit and play. And as you can see, even the clearance moves have been placed properly around the outside of the part. The Gibbscam 5-axis option also will let you to perform other types of surfacing operations and even deburring. We have a special toolpath just for deburring. You get to select Auto Detect for part surfaces, Auto Detect for edges, and we get to set the width of the deburr. The deburr starts with a sharp corner and then you, the customer, can shape it with this deburring path with either flat or rounded type deburrs. Let's watch this deburring path run in Gibbscan right now. We'll single it out again with the skip unselected ops. This was all done completely automatically by Gibbscan. We simply pointed at the part and said, okay, you figure out where to do the deburring. We'll speed it up a little bit. Gibbscam automatically maintains the proper tilt angle so that we are not cutting with an unproductive part of the cutter. The center of the cutter on a ball end mill or a lollipop does not really do any work. It just kind of smears the material. The Gibbscam 5-axis option allows you to set the end mill to the sweet spot. The first sweet spot that we come to on ball end mills, by the way, is 8 degrees. Then we go to 16, then we go to 24. This allows us to use our ball end mill much longer as wear is distributed across the ball. No matter what type of five axis milling machine that you have, and let's go back and look at the first operation and you will see what we have called a turn mill operation. Where the cutter is rolling and the part is rolling and it is turning and milling at the same time. No matter what type of five axis part that you have, 
the Gibbs Cam 5 Axis module can help you make production. If you have any other questions, please contact Camco at camco-ne.com.